It's time for Shrine Watch! Shrine Watch is a show where Panda shows you all the birds. Yes, he does. He takes them into the game to show you how they work. Yeah, it's Shrine Watch! Hello everyone, Panda here, and welcome back to Shrine Watch. And it's the... Halloween countdown now, a week until Halloween, and we just got yesterday the Blighted Xenomorph, the Blighted Sadako, and the Blighted Yoichi skins. And I've got to say, the Blighted Xenomorph looks so cool, but I do have one little gripe with it. Some maps completely, you know, negate that. Not so fun. Oh my god, dude. I cannot believe, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that they put that in for the skin. That actually just made my bloody body just start sweating. What? So just like Sadako with that horrible, horrible jump scare in the lobby and Wesker shooting his tentacly fist at you, they've added in a specific jump scare into the Blighted Xenomorph skin. That's fine, you know. I just honestly don't think that as killer you should be punished for just sitting at the lobby, you know. You're the killer, you're meant to be scaring the survivors, Welcome not the other way around. The second level of the Haunted by Daylight tone goes live today. In just a few hours from this, so it'll be out by the time that I actually put this video out. And this will allow you to get all the remaining dark trinkets to be able to buy every single different skin from the event. And speaking of those skins, I was checking out the night one yesterday and it actually looks incredible. It looks pretty crappy on the thumbnail, but actually in game, look at that beating heart, all the twisted bits of roots, a sword in his back, a really, really nice Halloween skin from Behavior. Very, very impressed. Way better than I thought it was going to be. See, when you look at this, it does not make it look impressive at all. So very impressed. I can't wait to see what the actual Halloween helmet uh, is going to look like. But well done, Behavior. A really sweet skin for... Uh, a free skin, essentially, that they're given out for just playing the event. There is a poll running until the 27th of October, and this is kind of cool. It is to celebrate DBD Day, and it is a Japanese post from Dead by Daylight over on the Twitter. Vote for the animal that you want to see added to the Yomoka estate to celebrate DBD Day with the Japanese community. And here is the post. To celebrate DBD Day in Japan, we're going to add an animal to the Yomoka estate. The vote will choose which animal will be added. The animal that gets the most votes will be added. The following illustrations are concept art. So basically, and they're going to add it in 2024. We've got four different animals. We've got a, okay, a giant flying squirrel with a eyeball in its mouth and uh, a gross looking raw tail. Okay, that's number one. Number two, we've got a raccoon dog. That's so cute. I like how it's got some um, horrible tentacles in the back. It's a... Uh, Entity, entity dog, raccoon dog. It's cute. Okay, I kind of like that one. Third up, we have a fox. Uh, also, of course, mutilated by the entity. Uh, it's rib cage showing. It's got, oh, it's got four eyes. Sure Creepy and fly. disgusting. And our final creature is a crested ibis, a two-headed nightmare creature bird. Uh, and we can vote on one of these. Well, what is my vote going to be for? I think I'm just going to be difficult and I'm going to pick the one that looks the biggest. So I'm going to go for oh, my cat's in the background showing that he wants me to pick this fox. Away from me. Okay, fine. All right. I thought it was going to tell you often when you do these woo box things, it tells you which the most voted one was. However, we do not hear. So we'll wait till the end of October. Uh, but I'll put a link in the description if I remember to uh, this thing. So you can go and fill it out yourself and choose the creature of your choice. Here are the rewards that you'll be getting every day for logging into Dead by Daylight uh, just during the event up till November 5th. Uh, nothing too crazy at all. Today's was apparently 100,000 blood points, but I logged in today and I only got 25,000. So maybe I've been scammed, uh, but you know, a few days of 100k, some riff fragments, that's nothing crazy. And aside from the Halloween event, I really feel like there's not too much news. We still have no clue at all what the next killer is going to be. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie is just coming out. I think it came out today, at least in the United Kingdom. So people are always going on about Five Nights at Freddy's. Could it be? I just, I just don't know. Uh, but I just cannot wait until we start getting some clues. Has anyone seen any clues at all? Let me know. Uh, I've seen nothing and I try and keep my ear pretty close to the ground with all of this stuff. Uh, so a little bit disappointed. Just give us a little hint. Even something super cryptic. 
you know, just like one, just one word. And although the Naughty Bear skin did not come out for the Trapper yesterday, which I did think it probably would, we just got the Blighted skins instead, that does mean that on the 31st, on actual Halloween day, I think we should be getting the Naughty Bear skin and I really am looking forward to that. The skin does come with the unique Mori, the first time that we've seen the unique Mori tied to a skin. They've got them over on mobile. There's absolutely loads of them, and they're really, really cool. Uh, if you want to see what the Mori looks like, here it is. This is from the Halloween stream. I made the storyboard for this Mori, and it is brutal. If I'd gone round in a circle You see it right now, and it's so... It's hard to look at. <laughs> So as a trapper enthusiast, I am very much looking forward to that. Anyway, let's take a little look at the Shrine of Secrets, see which perks we've got, and then take them into some games. First up on Survivor, from Adam Francis, we have Diversion. Staying in the killer's heartbeat radius for 30 seconds activates the perk, and you can press your active ability button to throw a pebble, which goes 20 meters in whichever direction you are facing. And where the pebble lands, it will make a noise notification for the killer and a little cluster of scratch marks. And our second perk is a Vittorio perk, and it is Fogwise. Now, if you can hit great skill checks, this perk is absolutely immense. Every time you hit a great skill check, you can see the killer's aura for six seconds. And this, you know, if you're hitting skill checks all the time, this just gives you so much knowledge, and I feel like it's a really, really underappreciated perk. So, perhaps by, I don't know, either of these perks, I really like both of them. Over on Killer, first up from Legion, it's Discordance. Basically, when two survivors get on a generator, it will make a noise notification and the gen will show up yellow. So you know there's two people in one part of the map on the same generator, uh, and you can plan around that. Do you go over there? Do you let the gin get finished? I know, it's one of those perks that just really gives you information, and when it works, it does a lot. And finally, an artist perk, it's Hex Pentimento. Destroyed totems can be rekindled and resurrected, and will give you buffs depending on how many totems you have resurrected. The big one is just on one totem, repair speed reduced by 30%. This is a massive, massive nerf to the survivors, and if you're running a perk like Plaything, where they're going to actually be wanting to cleanse the totems, keeping one stack up is actually pretty okay. Two, three, four, and five, not so much. For two stacks, it decreases healing speed. For three stacks, reduces recovery speed. Four stacks, decreases exit gate opening speed. And five stacks, all of the totems just get locked off and they can't do anything. Like Although I've got to say, soul, I've only it? had five stacks of Pentimento, I think I twice since the perk came out, and I do use it quite often, so that's now. really rare. <laughs> but really, if you can have one <laughs> stack of this like, totem up, it's just horrible. amazing. So let's grab these perks, take them in some games, and see if I can absolutely dominate with them. Okay, so gonna play Yunjin because I'm just in love with this void set. Not so much of the top, but I mean this, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Right, uh, I've got Diversion, Fogwise, Bond, and Background Player. Maybe I can do a cheeky, interesting flashlight save. It's probably not going to happen, but I can dream, okay? And we've got a spooky flashlight. So uh, if I do pull it off, the killer will be like, Hey, nice. He spooked me, probably. Oh my god, so spooky. Love it. All right. Let's get cracking. What's oh, a Huntress. Okay, that's fun. Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 I've got, I've got my stupid build on. You're gonna go down, go down somewhere smart so I can make the play of my life. The background play. Uh. Oh my god, she's gonna be so upset if I manage to pull off some sort of amazing flashlight save here. Background player! No, I bashed my mouse on my keyboards! Oh my god, she's gonna kill me. Okay, I have big regrets about everything that I've just attempted to achieve. Except for she doesn't have any hatches left, so I think I can get away here. Uh, damn, that was fucking stupid. Oh, God. Huntress. She's got to reload. Damn, wow, everything that happened there was terrible. On my behalf, at least. Did she see me? Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Run away! Oh god. Alright, alright, alright. Well, I'm getting punished for that. I need to move all this stuff out my bloody way of my mouse. 
I'm totally blaming it on that, okay? Leave me alone. Do I have enough flashlight? I should not have brought these two bulbs. Do I have enough flashlight to, uh... Actually get another flashlight save? I don't think I do. Alright, we got a reset. We got three hooks for one gen. It's looking pretty cringe, honestly, but... At least we get the reset. There we go, Fogwise. Seeing where the Huntress is. Fogwise again. Oh, that's awful. Conversion! Okay, Steve messed it up as well. Oh my god, Steve. I really don't think I've got enough flashlight. Steve, go into the void. He managed to get in there. Incredible. Where did she go? Nice move, Steve. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got a little haircut there. Go away, Huntress. Leave me alone. Wait, how did I just get a speed boost? Oh, a haunt? Diversion. I'm still... We're still alive. Against all odds, I'm still alive. Oh my god. Right, I don't think we're getting the gens done this game. I think we're literally just messing around. I'm helping. Look, I'm doing gens, okay. At least we can see where he is. Where she is, even, with Fogwise. But it's not gonna happen. Why even try? Why even try, Panda? Why even try? Just leave it. Okay, Fogwise. Ultimate vision. Should have known that was going to happen. All right, fine. She's got a deadlock. I know that. I know that for a fact. It's me. You're in gin. Are we just going to smash the gens? Because I'm totally okay with that. Okay, one gen left. Actually looking interesting. Pretty damn interesting. Oh my days! She's right here! Okay, I'll run, I'll run. I'll do the run. She's going through the building? Alright, I'll go this way. Oh no, she's seen through my devilish plan. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do, I don't know where I'm going. Keep going! I'm doing it! We're doing great! No, my face! Come on, guys, do the generator! One gin left, two people on it. Alright, we're going for an exciting end game here. Oh my god, Steve. Careful, mate. Careful! I value you as a friend and a teammate. Steve, what are we doing here? We're getting heals. Ah, oh, the Jill's gonna go down and... Oh my god, has he got autodidact? What an absolute dude. Alright, here we go! Flashlight save of the century! I've waited my whole life for this. Wait, did Jill go into the void? Kind of smart. That's kind of smart. Actually, let's go in there and save our life. She's broken because she's in the void, right? Diversion! Get out of here, Jill. No, 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 no. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought she couldn't see me. All right. <laughs> Typical potato play from myself there. Well, hopefully my teammates survive. Did they get the gate open? I should have just left. I was trying to be cocky. Trying to do some epic flashlight plays. Alright. 
that's not suited to me. I understand. Okay, gate's powered. Steve's still got a hook on him. Maybe these guys can't. She's giving him the free. But why? Fair enough. She, she, she just wanted to kill me. My bad. Oh, Shimmer Strike. Thanks for killing me. It didn't see me. Oh, man. It was nearly a good play. Nice one. Oh, I enjoyed that game. And that's what matters. Okay, right. Well, after that incredibly embarrassing endeavor, I think I'm going to play Xenomorph because we've got the new blighted skin that's bloody cool. Okay, let's go. We've got Pentimento and Plaything, uh, Trail of Torment and Discordance. Uh, seems good to me. We'll see where they are so we can get the sneak on them. Hopefully they'll be doing the gen slower. Uh, and we've got the Mori so I can actually enjoy a bit of this super skin. Uh, we're the Xenomorph. We're bloody creepy and I want to go over there. That's right. Oh. Never mind. Discordance. Coming in clutch. Kind of nice when you need to uh, just figure out where to go as Xenomorph. I'm actually quite a big fan of that. That's pretty sick. Jesus. Pretty sick. Hello. Sweetest. Beautiful down. Two seconds into the match. Nice. Man, Discordance really... Really hooked me up. Maybe Discordance is my new go-to on Xenomorph. Uh, yum, yum. Right, let's kick. Oh, they're on that generator now as well. Jeez, Discordance is clutching it out. Hello, Kate. Everyone's got Sprint Burst. Kind of snoozy. It's fine. I've got Kill Burst. Keep going, keep going. I feel like this can be a good game just from the... Hey, don't do that. Hey, stop that. Hey, stop that. Okay, Claudette's going for the instant drop down. Didn't look where she's going. I can't say that I recommend that, Claudette. I'm going to eat your soul. I'm going to place monsters inside you. Sounds a bit weird. I'm going to put... Uh, okay, let's look. Alien lore. Leave me alone. Oh, and they're on that? Jeez, man. Discordance. What are you doing? Where have you been all my life? This is absolutely incredible. The vision is just exquisite. I know there were two people there. Wowie. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know where the other one is, but uh, nice. I actually suspected that. Oh, no, she dropped it. Okay, unless they've got a flashlight, that is another beautiful knockdown. And we've got our first totem cleansed. All right, that's where I'm heading next. Over there. Now, this is working out great so far. I'm having a brilliant time. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm not tunneling you. You just happen to be in the way of my tunnel stick. Crap. <laughs> okay, someone's touched this generator again. And we've got two people on... Oh, it's Lammy. Two people on the middle gen. Thank you, Discordance. You are giving me all the info in the world. I'm going to come get you guys, just so you know. I'm coming over there in just two seconds. Although the unfortunate thing is that I do not have any Pentimento up right now. However, I know that. Things right here. You're trading. Damn! Oh my god, that gen's nearly done as well. Holy crap, actually these guys might be dominating me. I need to uh, just get someone out. I need to just murder Kate or Claudette. Both of them are on last hook. Let's 
gross. That's really gross. Wait a second, that generator's been touched. Hold the phone. Oh, hi. You going for the save? I don't think that's going to work. It did work. Man, you're going up on the hook now too. Holy crap. Right, we've got a few pentimentos to donk out here. Where are they? One's right there. Nice. Drop our terror radius. Reignite the pentimento. And then we hunt. We are the xenomorph. This is fun. Man, this is fun. I've got full void energy. Oh, just dump it in here for a bit of speed. I'm undetectable. I've got speed boosts. The greatest day ever. Hi. Damn. Oh, Kate. I'm going to get the speed boost, Kate, and I'm going to Mori your face. I'm sorry. Your face is looking very Moriable. Get that crap out of here. Okay, or not. Right, everyone's going to be last hook. That's just the way we're doing it. Two gens left. Actually going to be an intense ending here. The bad point is that I don't have any endgame perks. Like, usually I have Blood Warden. And they're on that last generator. Second to last generator. I've got to stop being chill here and start being the devil. Xenomorph's coming. Oh, Kate, I see you. I know your last hook. Oh. These little devils. I think she went in there, didn't she? Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Where's Kate? Scratches. I'm sorry, Kate. The Xenomorph comes for you. I'm gonna bloody... I've got drippy orange goo everywhere. Munch. Such a spooky skin. Sorry, Kate. Okay, bye. Right. That gen. I guess we'll go downstairs just for a little bit of fun. Hello, it's me. Oh. All right, let's just kick this so I drop my terror radius. Oh, they're on that last gen, actually. I'm going to get you, Feng. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Don't look behind you, Feng. Don't look behind you. Okay, two Moris. Although that last generator is very close to being done, but I'm just going to capitalize on it here. Two kills, ten hooks. That's a win. Any extra is just a bonus. And last gen there. Okay, this has been very successful, i got to say. Unless they finish that gen. Then I might cry. No, Claudette! No! You absolute monster. <laughs> well, I'm going to get three. Uh, Cheryl likely going to escape. But that's okay. I'm going to take the Mori where I can get it. Monch. All right, three kills. Nice. Man, she's out already. She was ready for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Claudette. Well played. GG. Man, I got some blood points. I got some Morries. I love GGs. Bloody love this skin. And I gotta say, Discordance there, what an absolute champion perk. I'm never taking Discordance off on my Xenomorph. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching Shrine Watch this week. I appreciate you very much. Thank you very much for being one of my viewers. Come follow me over on Twitch. I've actually been co-streaming Twitch and YouTube. There should be a VOD on this channel. I don't, I'm still trying to perfect it, so it's not, it's not perfect. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Have a great week. Much love. Panda out.